I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, look, it's red on the red carpet, I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind, it's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You, you never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no, or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. 
Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand. But you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring or I don't have the right look or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Well, wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, let's get back to the previously scheduled match.
What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this.